This is section one of the Exploration Station Shawl. We're going to begin with a long tail cast on of three stitches. Don't make a slip knot for the first stitch. Simply place the needle on top of the yarn. Swooshity swoosh. That's your first stitch. And cast on two more. Three total stitches. Now we're going to slide those three stitches to our left needle. Slip them and we're going to knit those three stitches. We're going to do that four more times. Slide and knit. I did the slide and knit four more times, so I have my little I-cord tail. And instead of sliding to the left needle again, we're going to turn to look at this long edge of the I-cord and we're going to pick up three stitches. Pick up and knit three stitches along that edge. Starting with this first edge stitch and we want to make sure to get both tails, um, both legs of that stitch, however you want to think about it. Knit and get the next stitch, both legs and one more. There we go. Six total stitches. Turn to work next row wrong side. We're gonna knit three cast on stitches. So we're gonna pick up and knit these three cast on stitches from the beginning of our I cord and just start with, here's a strand I see really close. That first one and then get one kind of in the middle Here's my second one, and I need one more. Yeah, there's a strand. Now that one works. This one would also work. So just make a choice. Get the third one. Three stitches along that cast on edge. And we're going to knit the next three. And slip three with yarn in front. Nine total stitches. Row one, right side, knit three, I'm sorry, knit four, knit those first four stitches, yarn over twice, knit one, do that again, yarn over twice, knit one, slip the last three stitches with yarn in front. Row two, wrong side, knit four. Knit one, purl one, into double yarn over. Knit one, off, oops, purl one, off. Knit one, knit one, purl one, into double yarn over. Knit one, off. If that second yarn over slips off too, that's okay. We just need a purl into it. So that double yarn over gives us two stitches. Knit one, purl one, into double yarn over. Knit one and slip three with the yarn in front. Thirteen total stitches. Now work rows three and four. So both of those rows we knit ten stitches and slip the last three with yarn in front. Row three, row four, and repeat those two rows once more. Here I am after rows seven and eight. I did my knit one purl one into each yarn over. I've got two garter ridges from rows three and four repeated. And I broke my color A and I'm going to choose color B to work wedge one. So using B, I'm going to knit three. Do a knit front back, knit into the front and back of the stitch, of that same stitch, for an increase, and knit 16. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Here we are at our short row turn. We're going to turn to work wrong side. Simply turn the work to the wrong side. Make sure the yarn is in back. And we're going to knit to the last three stitches. This is an easy short row turn. No slipping, no wrapping and turning. We just stop our row, turn around, and go to the other side. And slip those last three stitches with yarn in front. And continue to work rows three and four, knit three, knit front back. And we're going to knit to three stitches before the last turn. Knit front back. Here we are, three stitches before that last turn. And now we're at another turn. And notice now that every time we make a short row turn, it's going to be in the middle of a previous yarn over. So here's one stitch coming from that previous yarn over, and here's the um, other mirror stitch coming from that yarn over. So our turn is going to be smack dab in the middle of that previous hole. Three stitches before that last turn. And knit to last three stitches, slip three with yarn in front. Repeat these two rows, rows three and four, six more times. And then we're ready to break color B with our 33 stitches total. I just repeated rows 3 and 4 six more times for a total of 33 stitches. And I broke color B. Now I'm ready to use color A for the next row right side. Knit the first three stitches. As you knit the first three stitches every row throughout the shawl, it gives us this I-cord border, this edge. And knit those stitches a little looser than you normally would, um, especially if you're a tight knitter, just to give you, you want to have this edge be stretchy and you don't want it to be too tight. So always knit the first three stitches a little loose. So knit three, knit front back, knit one. We're gonna slip, slip, knit. I like to slip my first stitch knitwise, slip my second stitch purlwise, and then knit two together through the back loop. Slip, slip, knit. Yarn over twice, knit one, and slip, slip, knit. And we're going to keep doing that eight total times. Knit one, slip three with yarn in front at the end. So these I call my shortcut rows. We didn't do any wrapping and turning, and now when we return to those gaps, we're not going to close the gaps. Shortcut rows. We're going to keep those gaps open with a double yarn over. Accentuate those short row turns. Next row, wrong side. Knit three. Knit front back. knit one, and knit one purl one into double yarn over. Knit two. And continue in this way to the end of the round, and the end of the row. And this will be kind of our first short row wedge closure, and then we have more short row wedges. Um, but these are all the techniques you need to know for the beginning of this shawl. And if you have any other questions or want to share your progress, please share them in the West Knits Mystery Shawl Knit Along Ravelry group. And please post photos and uh, share your progress. So enjoy the shawl and happy knitting.